Hey guys, I'm Isil Khan and if you remember previously on Engineer Boy, we have learned and we were discussing about the vertical distance and height determination by using an angular instrument. But in that case, we got a tree which was accessible to reach its foot, okay? Which means, which was possible to measure the distance between an instrument and that object, okay? Just like this one, as you can see, D equals 100 meters. But what if we get an object which is never accessible and cannot be accessed to measure this horizontal distance between these two objects or you can say between the object which height is to be determined in this case as you can see this mountain and an object which is of course an instrument okay so what should we do over here okay like in this case okay I hope you remember that okay previously from the example it was accessible but over here as you can see this mountain it is never accessible to measure this horizontal distance between an instrument and this vertical line so in this video we'll solve a problem and an example about this approach okay let's see we got this example okay these terms you can just read them so it is asking what should be the height of a hill and the horizontal distance from A to the top of the hill. Let me just draw the diagram if I can draw it better. Okay, it is so complicated to get the data from example terms and draw the diagram. Remember this diagram is not to scale. Okay, let's see if I can draw it like say this one. Okay, so suppose this is a mountain which height is to be determined. Now look at to the example terms. The top of a hill subtends an angle of 40 degrees at point A. Let's say we got a point A over here, okay? It is making a 40 degrees angle with the top of the mountain. But remember, these data can be taken if you set a uh, angular measuring instrument, you can say a tidolite or any other instrument like Ibn level, okay, at point A. And if you sight the top of the mountain, of course, you can note the vertical angle. This time we got it is 40 degrees, okay? And an angle of 53 degrees at a point B to 40 feet from A toward the hill. This means there is another point called point B, okay? Like this one, okay? And the distance between point A and B is 240 degrees. Now, if you sight the top of the mountain from point B, the angle which is noted is 53 degrees here okay let's say this is theta 2 and one another thing which is distance a b and that is 240 degrees it is known okay now what should be the height of the mountain remember in order to calculate distance c e or the height of the mountain we just need to calculate distance a c which is the hypotenuse of triangle a c e now to determine distance ac we'll need to calculate theta 4 and theta 3 okay and these two parameters are so simple like as you can see if i need to calculate theta 4 we'll just subtract this theta 2 from 1 ad okay because line ae is just straight it is horizontal which means it is making an angle of 180 degrees so I'm gonna take 180 degrees and I'm gonna subtract theta 2 which is 53 degrees okay so I can get of course theta 4 which is 127 degrees all right or you can say 127 degrees now theta 3 okay as you can see just look at to the triangle ACB it is a triangle and we have two angles okay two angles are known theta 1 and theta 4 and remember the sum of internal angle of a triangle are always 180 degrees okay so we're gonna just subtract these two angles or you can say theta 1 and theta 4 from 180 just like that it's so simple okay so we can get of course theta 3 equals 13 degrees only after that we can easily calculate distance AC if we consider triangle ACB and by using sine rules or rules of sine or law of sine you can say and according to love sign AC, which is the hypotenuse of triangle ACE, must be equal AB times sine of theta 4 divided by sine of theta 3, okay? I just took this guy straight forward because it is all about mathematics 
and you should be able to know a little bit about mathematics okay to solve these types of problems all right so ac equals ab times sine theta 4 divided by sine theta 3 and we need some plug and check in over here because all of these things are known okay like ac equals ab ab is known 240 times sine of theta 4 that is 1 to 7 and sine of theta 3 that is only 13 degrees so do little mathematics with this we can get of course ac equals 852 feet so once we have this hypotenuse of triangle ace then of course we can calculate the perpendicular or the height of the mountain okay which is of course the perpendicular of triangle ace and we can do it by using the trigonometric ratios and we can do it of course if we take the ratio of sine okay as you can see this one take this triangle ace okay the height of the mountain is just the perpendicular and ac is just the hypotenuse of this triangle so you can take of course sine of theta 1 okay which is of course the perpendicular divided by hypotenuse which is of course h divided by ac okay now as you can see we need to calculate the height of the mountain which means we need to multiply ac to both sides so we can get of course h equals ac sine of theta 1 and just need some plug and check in over here again like ac date is 852 sine of 40 and it is of course 547.6 feet it was not that complicated okay the height has been calculated now another thing we need to calculate is distance ae which is the horizontal distance between point a and point c or you can say just the horizontal distance between point a and point e okay so we can consider triangle ACE because it is a right angle triangle and its two sides are known then of course we can use Pythagorean's theorem to determine its base which is distance AE all right and this must be the square root of of course the AC which is the hypotenuse minus CE or you can say the height of the mountain all right just some plug and check in like AE equals the square root AC, AC is known 852 square minus H that is known 547.6 feet. So AE must be 652.6 feet and that's it. So here is the final result in the two parameter of this problem. Okay, one the height and the horizontal distance or distance AE. That's it. So this is how we can calculate the height of mountain which is not accessible to reach okay it's food you can say and uh, that's it nothing else okay just wait for the next video hey if you like these types videos please hit that subscribe button press the bell icon and never miss an update from engineer boy thank you dears for watching see you next time